Hello, my name is Bryce. Today I'll be showing you how to set up and calibrate TrueSet on a 2230 field cultivator. To get started, let's click on Isobus VT, Menu, and select TrueSet Tillage. This will bring us to our main TrueSet run page. On the right hand side, if we click on Setup, we will configure our system from here. Which model, whether it's a 3 section or 5 section, the width, what type of sweeps we have, and our options being baskets or side-to-side -side leveling. We have both, so we'll select those. The next tab is SCV. From here, we assign which function is plugged into which SCV port on our tractor. For this example, our shanks are plugged into SCV number one, and our baskets are plugged into SCV number five. The other thing we wanna note is that they are both set to auto. Calibration procedure is next. First thing we need to do is our hydraulic bleed procedure. In order to do this, we need to detent our SCV number one forward and hold it. This process is going to make sure that all of the air, if there is any, is out of the system so that TrueSet can function properly. Now that the bleed procedure has been completed, we can begin our frame calibration. Initiate our frame calibration, and just like our bleed procedure, push our SCV number one into down, detent, and hold it. This will allow the frame to go all the way down and raise all the way back up to calibrate our depth sensors. Our frame calibration has successfully completed. You will notice a green checkbox to the left of shank calibration indicating that it was successful. Our preferences tab allows us to change additional settings. Cylinder rephase, however, can only be adjusted if side to side leveling is unchecked. Depth control tuning allows us to change the aggressiveness of how fast or slow the system responds to changes while raising and lowering the machine in the field. Our task controller needs to be enabled, and our SCV flick mode can be adjusted from off, temporary, or save settings. This allows us to flick our SCV lever to adjust our depth control within the cab. Documentation triggers can be adjusted to detent or depth control settings in order to paint a coverage map. If we find that our machine is unlevel and we have side-to-side -side leveling turned on, we can select level and then select each individual section that we want to either raise or lower in comparison to our main frame. After we have adjusted and leveled our machine, we would then click save. We have now completed our setup for TrueSet. Back on the TrueSet main run page, we can adjust our shank and our basket settings by clicking on the box and typing in the number that we want to input. You can also utilize the up or down arrows to adjust these settings. The numbers below the up and down arrows are the actual set point numbers of where they physically are right now. In order to activate TrueSet, the machine needs to be moving. If we detent the SCV forward without the machine moving, you will notice that the boxes go yellow. This is a standby mode and will cancel out after 7 seconds if the machine does not see movement. If we want to test operation of TrueSet by standing still, we can push and hold SCV number 1 in a down detent position. You will notice the boxes will go green and our set points will be activated. Another feature of TrueSet is presets. Notice the presets in the bottom left corner. If we press and hold, we can save a preset and type in a title or a name for that preset. This will allow us to quickly select different presets as we're going through the field. Notice when I press preset number one, it changes our set points up top. There are a few additional settings we can adjust for our shanks and our baskets. If we click on shanks, 
This will allow us to go in and adjust our actual depth. The controller is thinking that we're at 3.9 inches in the ground. We just measured it and we're actually at 4.5 inches in the ground. Select 3.9 and type in 4.5 to adjust it. Click on OK and we have now adjusted our actual depth. Our upper set point limit is at negative 11 inches. That tells us that when we turn around and raise up, it will go up to 11 inches and stop. For our basket, we can adjust our increment adjustments. Each click of our arrow will adjust it 50 PSI up or down. TrueSet is now set up, calibrated, and ready to go. Thank you for watching. Connect with us by subscribing to Precision Ag Answers on YouTube and following RDO Equipment Company on social media. Visit rdoequipment.com for more Precision Ag resources and solutions.